the Monte Carlo Television Festival. Thank you. Pretty, pretty incredible. Have either of you been here to the festival before? No, never been. This is our first time. I've been to Monte Carlo, but never the festival before. That's right. He's been to Monte Carlo. You're like, oh, I've been here. I'm right, right at the background. Uh -huh. nothing, nothing oh, yeah, no, I didn't do that, definitely. I'm still very excited to come here. Uh. So, so being here with such an incredible show, Scorpion, um, what has been your first impression here so far in meeting some of the international fans? Oh, um, just, the, it's, they're lovely. I mean, it's, it's nice to just come to a different part of the world and see where your show has reached people. Um, I don't think I've had that experience really properly, so um, I, I find it kind of, uh, it's kind of interesting, you know? What has your experience been so far with the fans here? Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of similar to Catherine. I think you, because uh, we still are in a bubble in America, so you don't. Um, we're in a bubble in America, so you don't really uh, know how how wide the span of the show is until you go to another country. Especially, it's funny when when you hear fans or you hear people speaking a different language and talking about the show. It's kind of yeah, like specific things. Me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and for you, a in trap as well. Cavern, what do people want to talk to you about it? I feel it's so fascinating. You, you know, you go from singing and dancing uh -huh. to smash to this incredible role. Oh, I think. Well, actually, I mean, this is this is the beginning of our day, so we've only met a few of the, the fans who watch the show. But I think they really just kind of see me as the, the actress who plays Paige. I don't think they really. <clears throat> I, I I don't think they're they have too many references. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong, but they were more interested in the show, which is great, <laughs> which is why we're here. Yeah, yeah, for what you're, yeah. what you're doing now. What is it, you play such a great character, both of you, um, and the team, I love the ensemble cast of this show, but what do you love about, about playing Paige? Like, what drew you to this part? Oh, I think initially I was drawn to this sort of um, interesting dynamic between Walter and her son, and this sort of uh, forbidden relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was initially drawn uh, to, in the pilot, Paige, as a single mother. That mm -hmm. That's an interesting um, role that I've never played before. And then uh, this professional relationship, but obviously there's this attraction, so kind of dealing with um, how do two people deal with that, and then having a child, and there are obviously being similarities between the child and the main character. I just found that that little trio to be really interesting. Um, and I, I think that that's a lot of that part of the show, that little trio between those three characters is really a lot of the heart of the show. Um, what a lot of the audience, it's kind of the reward after <clears throat> Team Scorpion has gone and saved the world, uh, it kind of goes back to um, you know the little emotional scenes and relationships, inner workings between the characters. Yeah, so what do you enjoy uh, playing Walter O'Brien and, and how much is he involved Um, what do I enjoy by playing the show? What do I enjoy by playing the character? Yeah, what, what, what really drew you to, to this part? I mean, when you first read this script, what was, what was appealing to you? Um, uh, selfishly, from a from selfish perspective, uh, I've never played an Irish white uh, man on TV before. So I think that was definitely, it was definitely a pull. Um, because it's, you know, we, I think as actors you want to do as many different things as possible. That's what kind of, that's, that's the main draw to, to being an actor for me, to try and really immerse yourself and become really different. So it's completely different from anything that I've ever done before. Um, the, the pull of the character was, um, he's not supposed to feel, but he really does. So trying to nurture bits where you can it's almost as loud as the plane isn't it the the gull is traveling five people in his stomach 
Do you want me to start it again? Oh, that's really? great. So you know, yeah, just heads up there. Where do you want me to start from again? About, um, this character feeling, I mean, he's a genius, really, um, but feeling that emotion, was that compelling to you, someone that, that was learning to maybe feel... I, I I mean I think it's 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 dangerous and it's strange the fact that I I have a different perspective but I, to legitimize it over the course of such a long time playing the amount of episodes that we do because my character really does is I I feel em emblematic of a lot of the emotional ups and downs over the course of each episode so. I suppose the challenge of the characters uh, or the actor is to try and make make it believable in certain scenes that he doesn't feel, but really he does, and he has an overwhelming ability to feel. It's just he doesn't he doesn't have the capacity contr to control it. So that's that's pretty, it's, it's an interesting um, concept for uh, for a network TV show, I think, for a character on it. There were one of those moments that I know each of the episodes, I'm sure, is impactful to you, but when your sister passes oh, yeah, away, was yeah. that for you a very powerful episode? As much as it was for the audience when we connected with you in that way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, you know what's interesting um, doing doing so many episodes uh, of a TV show is that you really kind of, and I don't know, I've, uh, I, I know that I've we've spoken, Catherine and I have spoken about it as well, is that you really kind of, you know, you, it's it's not a set beginning. The, the arc of the character is not set, and that's why sometimes you get the ability to go to to go through places that you wouldn't normally go to in a film, um, but. Um, the nice thing is that you know we we tackled something that hadn't been tackled in the show before but the the important thing is to try and do it in a different way so you're not doing the same thing you're not expressing yourself because every situation should be new and fresh and you know it's difficult to do that over the course of we've done 46 episodes now have we crazy <laughs> For you, as it does for all of us, you know what I, when I was looking that you're already renewed for season mm. three. three. Does it go by as fast for you? It's hard to believe. No, I wouldn't say it goes by. Uh, we, we shoot nine and a half months out of the year, so it's 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 most of an entire year. It's and, a pregnancy. Um, it is. We give birth to a new season. We do. Mm -hmm. we're giving birth to now. You're going to go into season three. When do you start shooting that? And I know it's hard to tell what. Um, what we can expect in season three without giving anything away. Yeah, we don't, we don't know. We have absolutely no information to give to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> we would like to be more informed so we could uh, tell you, but it'll be they're writing probably right more now. the same. They're, yeah. they're back in, in this office writing and throwing ideas out, I'm sure. And uh, We go back July 5th, so I, will, I would imagine, like mm -hmm. it's been in the past, we usually get a script within a week before shooting, a week mm -hmm. or two. Yeah. Is there more of a comfortability than a comfort level um, going into season three now that you guys have worked together these two seasons? How is it different going in to a show that really has its groove now? And an oh, I mean, I've never gotten to a season three, actually. I've only ever done, <laughs> gotten to a season two of the last show that I was on, so um, season three. Uh, so, no, it does feel different. It does kind of feel... Uh, like I just gotten, I woke up to an email saying you have a wardrobe fitting. You know when can you make this work? I was like, oh, I was expecting this email. I just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just kind of knew yeah. that it was going to come, and uh, I, I guess it's just, it's as though no time has passed. Um, <laughs> when you're away from it for three months, you really try to get away from it and not think about it, so you can really be fresh for nine and a half months. But, um, but it's going to be as though no time has passed. And I think that's the difference is that. Um, going into season two, you're, there's still a little bit of like, oh, what's what's this season gonna be like? Was, um, and and even even still, I say that I I, I there will be interesting storylines. I'm sure that will be different from, but I think we're definitely more of a well ironed machine, and um, mm -hmm. you know, so it's it's gonna be a little bit more of a routine, I think, going into or just knowing what to expect. Okay, that's great. Well, since you have a little bit of time off here, what are you guys gonna be doing? In Monte Carlo, where you hope to be traveling here together? Are there things you want to be doing? Oh, tomorrow we've got a full day off, so yeah. I'm just gonna. I don't actually know. I wanted to charter a boat. And I was like, how much <laughs> what does that would you cost? Recommend? <laughs> I would do, yeah, charter the boat. I charter a boat. boat. Charter I would the boat. Maybe travel to St. Paul de Vence, maybe? Small town? Uh -huh. Yeah, I hear there's a couple great little towns to go see, and um, I walked around all over. 
yesterday in 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 Monte Carlo. So I kind of feel like I've done that, and um, yeah, maybe get some sun. Yeah, yeah. Marsha Gay Harden was talking about. She said that there's a place close to here that where the monks make lavender and wine. Oh. I don't know where that is, but it's it's pretty near here. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. And Catherine, I'm just wondering for you, do you have any time still? Are you um, going to be cutting any more albums or, or singing? Or do you have time for that? With your uh, or is that yeah, or? We'll see. I, I actually get to go do about six dates with Bocelli in December. So I uh, actually hope the producers will let me out for the one particular date that's on a Thursday. So that's always challenging. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about new music and stuff like that, but uh, no. I, I think that the new music I do make will be a little bit easier to, sh to do during a kind of busy shooting schedule, so um, we'll see. Hopefully I'll do something this year, but I'll, I'll get to go perform and stuff, so that'll be nice. Well, nice to meet you both. Nice to meet yeah, you too. Have a great yeah, time, yeah. and we'll see you on the carpet.